Uh, it's Phil Lindsay out Peep Magazine. We're here at Rain Meadows Arena with a press conference for Phil Jeffrey's blockbuster show. And we're here with Adam Watson, who's having his first fight as a professional. After being on the road with the RAF and the forces and all these different things, how does it feel to be coming home and having your first fight here, Adam? Yeah, I can't wait, obviously. I've only boxed, well, I've boxed Benny Moore a few times. Um, when I was in the championships through the forces, you normally know, you know, box here, don't yeah. you, for the ABAs, but I've never boxed here, so it's nice to come home, especially pro debut. Um, Great hope, venue. Hopefully have close to 100 fans coming, um, so can't wait. Yeah, 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 and obviously, obviously, hundred yourself, but it should be a sellout here as well. So it's one of those where the atmosphere is going to be. Yeah, it's going to be bouncing. Bouncing, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to showing the northeast what I can do. Is obviously a few people do know of us, of what people have seen. Uh, so now everyone will get to see what I'm all about. Well, that's the thing. It's the obviously with the the, the Sunderland connection sort of thing. You, where, have you, where have you been living? Where have you been based at? Well, it's linked. First join up through training that you go all over, but uh, mainly Lincolnshire, and then I ended up moving back up to Yorkshire for a stint, back down to Lincolnshire. So I've got quite a lot of establishments in Lincolnshire area. Like I've been training Lincoln gyms, Scunthorpe gyms, just around that area. Like so. So as well as obviously your local fans here, you've probably got people travelling up for the yeah, fight as well. Yeah, have you? I've got quite a lot of my mates in the raft. They've all booked the hotels and stuff like that. Yeah, so they're not all staying at yours. No, no. <laughs> your castle. Although, <laughs> although my mum was cooking everywhere. <laughs> But that's the thing, so obviously you've got, you've got your, the tickets that you're going to sell with your support, but obviously the Sunderland connection and obviously people, friends and family and stuff, and just the fans who come along to support Darren and, and, and the, the other local lads, you're going to have them getting behind you as well, not just the, the tickets that you've sold. Yeah, that's it. I mean, everyone, everyone's quite close up. Like everyone knows, knows each other, you know what I mean? So it's quite good. Like I was saying earlier, someone else, it's good how all the lads up here, they, you get on well with everyone. You go to gyms down south and... You get stared at, you get looked at, but up here, mm. everyone, everyone's sound like, so it's it's really good. Like, well, I think you get the Newcastle Sunderland sort of rivalry with the football, but with the boxing, that seems to be. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think the, the fans still get that, but the, the boxers themselves, it's 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 just more of a. There's not that rivalry there. There's there'll be local rivalry when you've got like, two guys the same way going up against each other. Then yeah, that yeah. that'll that'll build towards itself. Like you've got. Lee Mould fighting Glenn Foote yeah, yeah, on the it, Summer yeah. Rumble. You've got um, Dan Cope fighting Tom Whitfield for the second time yeah, next yeah. month as well. And yeah. it's, you get local fights, but those are, there's lots of respect in there as well. So there's yeah. a rivalry, but there's not bitterness. There's not yeah, that's it. That's, well, that's good about the sport, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's a gentleman sport, isn't it? You, you get in there, you, you knock each other out, or, or you <laughs> do your best. and then Bring you the hell out of each other. And you shake hands, and people think, what's that all about? But it's, that's what it's all about. If your opponent's not there, you're not fighting, are you? So... To me, I don't like all this bad mouthing. I think respect's a massive part. Through the forces, obviously, I've learned a lot of respect. So, yeah. And I'll I'll follow that with my boxing career. I'll respect anyone I fight, whoever they are. Well, that's, that's me. I mean, as a boxing fan, I've never actually been in the ring apart from doing interviews and stuff. But it's like... I'll expect, respect anybody who gets in the ring. I, I don't say that it necessarily makes him a great guy, yeah. but if he's got what it takes to go in the ring, you have to give him respect for that because what box has put on the line, the sacrifices they make, the things that they have to do without with the diet and all these different things, yeah. they put more into their sport than any other sportsman as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, yeah. This, this needs to be respect for that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is torture sometimes when you training for eight, nine, ten weeks and you're missing out on doing things, your mates are going there and you're like, nah, I can't go. And obviously they're doing it as well. So, mm. yeah, if, if, say if they weren't there, you wouldn't be fighting. So, so first fight, you know who your opponent's going to be, who you got and uh, yeah, what's yeah, his background? Owen Rain from Barnet Castle. Um, I've seen him spar over Spenny a few times, actually. Um, don't think he did too much as an amateur. Quite flashy boxer. Um, switch hitter, I think. All right. Well, I believe he's a switch hitter, what I've seen. Um, he's tall, looks awkward. But with me being boxing as a middleweight as my amateur career, I'm used to boxing tall people. Yeah. Um, it's just second nature to us. Uh, I'm a come forward fighter. I'm strong. Everyone I've been sparring saying, God, you're strong. You've come down the weight and you're strong. So I've still got my strength. I'm sparring, I'm sparring a few of my mates the other day. Heavier weights. I've hit them and they've gone, you're punching. I don't think it's so, just your strength. I think the way you carry yourself... I think that lends itself sometimes to your punching style. It's in what you prepare to. I don't know, just from my experience, from you've come down and weight, yeah. but you obviously still have the strength and you're still hitting people bigger than you and things like that. And I just think that you have that natural way about you. Yeah, I think that's me. Like, I, do, I mean, I can box on the back foot. I actually like boxing on the back foot, but 
I just go forward. And I like going <laughs> forward, and, and when people feel that's me, where your yeah, opponent is, yeah. that's where you want to be. And when people feel me strength and power, and they don't like it, so that's that's what I've done for most of my fights. And if I need to adapt to box, then I do that. So, yeah. Well, we don't look too far ahead because it's important not not look past your next fight. But your next fight being your first fight. Yeah. Touch wood, everything goes well. What's the plans for 2016? How many pl fights would you ideally like to get in this year? Ideally, obviously, I, I want to be busy. Um, I'd like to aim for six. Six would be nice. Um, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but I know I can mix it. I've won titles in the amateurs. We maybe even get an area one at the end of the season, end of the year, which would be nice. I'm not going to push for it, but if well, we'll see how the first couple will go. Are they um, going to be fighting at light middle? Yeah, I think my first one's 11-4, which is like like middle and middle in between. Yeah, yeah. Um, once I'm down at that weight, I think it'll I think it'll come nicely to light middle. Um, we'll just see how it goes. You know what I mean? I don't want to kill myself getting down rip, but if it's day before wins, well, I but think. But you can do it gradual then. Yeah, I think gradual will, it'll work out well. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to it. March the fifth. Yeah, can't wait. Adam Watson, Cheers, can't man. wait to see you dipping inside, mate. Adam Watson, the story begins. Top man.